pile of dogs. But um, anyway, I just had my, my first impression when I came to the, the site visit was there a lot of a lot of dogs and a lot of elderly people with dogs, and they weren't really communicating, and the dogs weren't really exercising, and um, so I sort of saw that as an opportunity, and I, plus I really love dogs, and love watching them, and I, when I watch dogs, I, I sort of look at them in very formal ways, how they move, their legs, their bodies, and I thought, you know, this is a really nice place to even just observe that. So we took this really squalid piece of land, which ironically is behind the bathroom, um, and turned it into this this nice garden with this idea of kind of a quoting of the giant's causeway and this idea of this kind of sculptural mound that is, has lights in it and the dogs would have this desire to kind of climb this thing at night and then the lights are placed in such a way that they would be uplit in a very theatrical way and that you would have this kind of uh, dog theater. Um, and we have very nice fragrant plants for, uh, so when dogs are running through, which they have been doing, you kind of get this wafting of the uh, lavender and the rosemary, and so that's, that's very nice. But also, if you, when you're walking around Folkestone, you'll notice these really ambitious uh, kind of uh, recreational playgrounds for children that one's a sunken ship and one's a fort. And I thought, well, maybe this could kind of be a quote of that. This could also be kind of a clubhouse, but just for dogs. And so there's little kind of jokes about cats aren't welcome, and, you know, this is really like that. These are the cats that have trespassed. Um, and maybe a dog that had pooped, and they're not allowed to poop. So you know, little, little notes about, you know, not fouling, um, little reminders. And just kind of these accents of of sign graphic to kind of play with that. Um, and this is a fantastic dog. <laughs> Milo is a 